as you know, in Singapore, the F&B industry is very labour intensive yes. because it's a service business. The government has been encouraging uh, F&B companies to hire more Singaporeans yes. because of the shortage and to improve productivity. Yes. Kevin, can you share with us what what is your company doing, uh, given that it's going to be increasingly difficult yeah, to, to grow the number of staff? What are you doing at the company level as a leader yes. uh, to, to, to develop your, your staff, your resources, uh, and also to improve productivity? Last time we used to have uh, 12 to 15 full-timer in the outlet itself. You couldn't give everybody a very high salary. So with the reason change, we actually cut our full-timer into half and then we pay this um, so-called the remaining seven a higher salary. So the rest, uh, we actually redesign our workflow in the outlet itself. So we make sure the student, the part-time, they can come in, they can learn. And then um, we work out incentive scheme for, for the key personnel in the outlets, like, just like a, a profit share scheme. You know, we want them to learn more, you know, how to help the company, you know, um, to learn more how to run the restaurant. So you're sort of expanding their job scope, yeah? Yes. So give them a yes. lot more a lot more opportunities because, uh, to develop themselves. Yeah. We have to bring in value to the staff and the staff have to understand, you know, the company for us, we can do a lot of things. We can put in uh, money for the equipment to make sure that we have advantages. But end of the day, we, we still need somebody to execute it, you know, the outlets manager itself, uh, the management team itself. Yeah, so they have to make sure that they have the mindset, they have the thinking yeah, in order to, to keep ourselves uh, have, keep ourselves that's competitive in the market. Yeah. You, I believe you're also very actively training your staff yes. and development. Can you share with us some of the training that is done at the Suki yeah. Group? For example, um, last month we just brought our, our uh, uh, whole teams to Taiwan to visit uh, some of very successful uh, restaurant chains in Taiwan. For the exchange knowledge, I think everybody learns something, you know. Yeah. So because uh, Singapore is a small country, so in order for ourselves to get more knowledge, we have to travel, especially to those uh, well-developed countries like US, Japan, or Taiwan. So then we, we can see how people operate. So you get a chance to localize yes. some of the best practice and ideas as yes. well. Now, you run a 30-odd group of restaurants yeah. here. Uh, how, can you describe a little bit about your leadership? and your management staff. <laughs> because, you know, in the service industry, yes, yes, managing yes, yes, yes. full-time and part-time staff yes. uh, is very challenging, yes. aside from turnover. But tell us, what is your leadership and management style like? You know, that uh, in our industry in Singapore, so uh, majority of the people that work in the f and industry is not highly educated. So that's, I always uh, use myself as an example when I face first came to Singapore, I couldn't, you know, speak English at all. So, and then today I encourage them, you know. So never give up yourself, you know, to create more value so that um, you get a better life in future. So you motivate them that way yes. by, by telling your personal story yes, yes. and how you started uh, yes. as, as a chef yourself. Yes. Yeah, and that's a, I think that's a very compelling way. Huh? Yes. Good leaders often use their own personal experiences to share that as well. That's why I always told them, in order for yourself to grow, to have the thinking, you have to work in the restaurant like your own business. So this is for your own goods, not only for the company. From there, then you were able to know how to run a business and how is the business environment. So if one day they want to go back to Malaysia, so they want to run their family business, so at least they, they have learned something, you know. Yeah. It's interesting, not only are they learning the skills, but you encourage them to be entrepreneurial yes. so that if they, they go back home, they're able to transfer those skills and successfully run yes. the small businesses. Thank you, Kevin.